Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. We changed up our menu. We're going to go ahead and continue working on quests and finding the rest of the animals that were missing as well. So I'm going to start with... We are missing one in Heart Village. Calico, Pudgems. Hey, where's Char? Doesn't Char count? Yo, Char is at, is at my house, that's why. Okay. So we are missing one. We'll keep an eye out for. We're missing one in the city. Two in the city. And then one in the Witching Woods. So four, four animals left. Now as far as quests go, I need to talk to Poppy. That's ready to go. I need to find... I gotta, you know what, I'm just gonna talk to Maribel, talk to Kiva, talk to Safina. We're getting all these done. I need to bring a cat to her. I need to find another chair as well. I currently have a basic chair and a spooky chair, so anything else? Oliver in town today? No, Oliver's down by the by the house or the lighthouse. What's for sale? A cute chair. Sure. Do you need anything today, Estelle? Maribel, I did the thing. What's for sale? You need anything else? Not today, perfect. I know Ash is done. Oh, Kiva, we did bring in the red panda. I did the thing. Patches? I guess I forgot to tell you, but that's what I call that red panda I told you about. Cool. Patches' favorite toy. Do you need anything else today? Magical mixer? Monthly event I organize to drum up community spirit. Like Kai from the Lighthouse. It's a lot of fun, but there's so much to organize. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Food! I haven't prepared anything at all. Could you help? Need one food of each type. Can you bring me one sweet, one savory, one fancy? I did the thing. Ooh, a flan recipe. Excellent. And now we need to find... It did the thing. Yep, there's a display case. Potions that change furniture styles, just you wait. Oh, he gave me the cute one. Back. Neat. Okay, we need to talk to Safina as well. I'm gonna slow my speed down. S slow speed. There we go. Go up. There is an animal we're missing. We need to talk to Poppy as well. I don't know why I'm thinking it could be on the roof <laughs> of a building. It's like another pigeon or something. <gasps> I was right. Oh, you're cool looking. Calico 4D. 
done. I just, I had a feeling. I'm like, I've been down and around everywhere else. Safina? Did the thing. It was great while it lasted. Okay, and now I talk to Poppy, which is back in town. Does she need anything else? Need anything? Is this good? Have you considered investing your profits? Hello, local cat themed business owner like yourself. Oh, sorry, not that good. Okay, tell me about these business cats. Gato Gelato, the cat themed ice cream shop. Serving flavors like Choco Cat, Pawberry, Vanilla. <laughs> and the three together as Neapolitan. They need funds for a new display cabinet. They use the paw pun twice. That doesn't matter. Wow, yum. Next is Musical Notes, your one stop shop for records, instruments, and more. They have all their inventory, they just need a little help installing good overhead speakers. I love music. How are you, feline? An emotional support group for cats. Okay. They need money for snacks. That's a nice idea. So what'll it be? 400 beans for a display case. 600 speakers. Sure. Yes. I can invest all of this. I got 11 grand. I'll let you know how everything's doing. Don't worry. You're sure to make a good return on your investment. Cool. Now we're an investor. Need anything? Actually, I'm in a bit of a pickle and could use some help. You have a minute? Yeah. Lighthouse has lost power. The system has always been a little finicky, and I can usually fix whatever by myself. But I'm in a bit of overhead over my head at the moment. I absolutely need to get it up and running again before dark. Okay, this is a really serious job, you know. What happened? I bought a lot of snacks from the cat cafe last week. I was having a midnight snack the other night on the front porch, and I must have forgotten to put them away. A bunch of animals came to the lighthouse and ate my snacks. That alone was a huge blow. Oh, right. But now they're all running wild around here, and one of them must have chewed through a power cord. You could move them from the lighthouse to the beach for me. I can find the cord and fix myself. I'll get to work. Can I just chuck them from up here, please? No. Okay, okay. Oh, my broom! Oh, yay! I love you, broom. You actually follow me, unlike Char, who just runs away. Okay, the miniature horse. On my head. As we do. Pick up Jiggles. <laughs> I think that's all of them. Oh, did I miss Oliver? Oh yeah, he's down in the in the uh, Golden Grove, it looks like. I did the thing. I found the wire. Power should be coming back on any minute. Awesome. Please take this. Go play with some of those animals to calm myself down. Alright. Oh, and we haven't spoken to Lily in a while. Let's see if she needs anything as well. Oh, what's for sale? 
I haven't done anything with my outside area. I do like the citrus stuff. Garden brick path. Ooh, she got a tart. Poppy got a muffin. Oh. Looking at her inventory and she's running away. Need anything? Nope. Excellent. I gotta pick up a cat and bring it to the mouse. There's a fox. Okay, okay, okay. Up. Ah, oh, this one's cute. Uh, broom? There you are. Beautiful. I did the thing. This is Electra Von Snuggly Butts. Electra Von Snuggly Butts, Daisy. Oh gosh. Eek. Don't worry, I won't let go of them. You can just watch them for a bit. Okay. I guess they're kind of cute. Horrible, but cute. Should I try petting them? Sure. Oh wow, they're soft, just like me. Hey, thanks. It really helps to have someone to support me while I work through this. I... Deep breath. I think I'm going to try coming to the cafe sometime. That's great. What's for sale? Oh, people are digging the blueberry muffins. Okay. Oh, I should see if she needs anything else while I'm down here. Need anything? I wanted to thank you again. Okay. I'm not quite as shy as I used to be, although I still get nervous around more than one cat at a time and big crowds. Cutie City now, and the path that has been opened. I'm sure it won't surprise you to learn that I've never been there. It's really big and loud, and there's a lot of cats too, but it's... I'm really curious to see what it's like. Going alone would be too scary for me, but do you know Gabby? He lives around here, and one time when we ran into each other in town, he offered to show me around the city. I told him I wasn't sure I wanted to go, but now I'm ready. The only problem is I haven't seen him in a while. Could you tell him I'd like to take him up on his offer after all? Sure. Okay. We're gonna put our last chair, and then talk to Safina tomorrow. I think there's someone else who lives in this wood- in the woods? Yeah. Go talk to her. around here somewhere. Ooh, it's raining. I don't know if I've seen it rain in this game before. Ah, oh, she's back here. Oh, the deer. That's right. Oh, Gabby. She asked to try it. Need anything? Not right now. Okay. Oh, now we get to go talk to Daisy again. I did the thing. 
Oh, he. Gabby's a he. Oh gosh, okay, it's happening. I'll get ready. Thank you so much. Oh, designs. I was hoping that was an actual cinnamon roll I could use in the shop. Okay, let's take a look. How are we doing on people? Townsfolk. Autumn. We need to go talk to Autumn. Maribel, we do need to talk to Poppy. Sunny. Lumi has one. Jin, I've... Maybe I went right by her. Lee. I was looking for him. Steve is done. Malcolm's done. Kai, Daisy, Gabby are both done. Perfect. We could talk to Rosa. Rosa. Let's go talk to Rosa, then we'll talk to Autumn, and then we'll head back to town and... ...and get Poppy. See if we can find Sunny as well. Um, this way? <laughs> the rolling cat. Ugh. Flying magic. Make animals be able to fly. My sister Autumn, don't you? If we can combine the flying magic from my broom with her potion skills, maybe we'd have better luck. You need anything? You must like wandering around the woods as much as I do. The trees and animals that live here are so, so wonderful, don't you think? They're bizarre in a great way. A lot of people prefer the city nowadays, but I can't imagine sleeping without the trees whispering around me. The woods are beautiful. The woods here house ancient magic. These days, the young witches I meet are learning all kinds of new spells and unusual types of witchcraft from the city. I love to see so much variety, but I think it's important to maintain traditions too. Those traditions play a part in keeping this forest in balance after all. Sounds interesting. Must sound a bit old fashioned. Wait, you said it sounds interesting? Are you interested in traditional witchcraft, really? It's mainly me and my sister Autumn around here who still practice it. I think Estelle said she did too. I could teach you if, a little if you want. That's great. Okay, so here are a few different important ceremonies that witches living in these woods should practice to help keep the forest in balance. Finding a black cat and spend some time playing with it. The black cats in these woods release lots of beneficial magic when they are played with. Ah, that's so fun. Of course, black cats have always been the special companion of witches. Oh, and I almost forgot. You'll need to wait for night when the moon is out. Moonlight in the ma in the forest brings out extra magic. Okay. So it looks like... I'll need to come back to the woods at night to play with... a special black cat. Oh, there is the, uh, unfamiliar. Is she even here? She is. Rosa created flying magic. Yeah, that sounds like something she would do. No wonder we haven't seen her in a while. She gets really focused on her experiments. I'll have to visit and remind her how to unwind. Anyway, let's get that magical flying essence all bottled up. I'm thinking strawberry flavored? Hmm, yes. Flying magic is cool and all, but it's the flavor that really sells a good potion. Use this on any bird. <gasps> Poe! Can you imagine that? A world full of birds that can fly? Truly amazing times we live in. I've upgraded the Bigify potion I made for you before. It now works on birds too. When you ride a bird, you should be able to fly anywhere you want. Awesome. Uh, what's for sale? Become an ice cream sundae. Garden orange mushroom. Nighty night potion. Oh, change the... Okay, we're gonna buy that. Turn a bird into a griffin. Uh, let's check it out. Witch toy. Change animal to sparkling night version of itself. I think that's what uh, the one cat had. Turn hair into colorful cosmic void. Sure. Stop, start the clock. Make the clock run faster. Change time to morning. 
Start or stop rain. Sure. Um, okay. Broom. This way. All right, Poe. Oh. Ooh, okay, so the back button. Oh, this is so much easier. Oh, I love it. Let's go visit Poppy. Oh, my broom's coming with me, too. And he's not here. Where is he? See at my cafe. See there this whole time. Oh, the giant crow in the back. I love it. Oh, he is here. I did the thing. I got croissants. Sandwiches are his favorite food. Need anything? Nothing right now. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. Oliver's done. He's got his bread. Autumn. Ah. I forgot to talk to her. We don't know Maribel's favorite food yet. Okiva likes flan. He likes sandwich. She oh, tart. We figured that one out. Roll cake. Cookie. She likes fancy treats. These guys like fancy treats as well. Is this cookie? Okay, so we need Rosa. Lee. Let's see if we can go find Lee. And Jen. Safina we'll talk to in the morning. Oh, let's put in a chair. I think it was a cute chair that I got. Yeah. Okay. Now I can talk to Jin. That's right. Tell Autumn the potion worked. Let's go do that too. I thought I was going to dive right off the mountain. Big bird! Or bird big! Need anything? I'm relieved that our plan to get the mountain pass open worked. I think you'll be passing through there again soon. Definitely. You're going to do something for me. I make the herbal potions that Lumi uses at the onsen, and she placed an order right before the landslide happened. You take it up there for me, I can give you some sort of payment. I've been avoiding going up there for a little while now. It's because of Lumi, actually. The two of us have never worked together forever. Or the two of us have worked together forever? We used to spend hours hanging out at the onsen and talking about new recipes for our potions. The thing is, ever since I turned myself into a cat, I just can't stand going into the hot springs. I tried to explain to Lumi that I just don't want to anymore, but she can't seem to accept it. She's always trying to come up with some new magical cure that will make me enjoy the onsen again. But this is who I am now. I like it, and I wish she would get that. You should talk to her instead of avoiding her. Maybe you could try. But I'm not sure I'm cut out to fixing your friendship. Okay, I can try. Hmm. 
Okay, so Poe is gone. I'll take this. Um, talk to you about something. Good to see you. Oh, you brought Autumn's potions for me. Thank you so much. I was hoping she would come herself, though. I haven't seen her in ages because of the landslide. I had a great new idea for a magical swimsuit that would keep her dry while she soaks. She doesn't like to get wet anymore now that she's part cat. Actually, about that. Did she say something to you? She feels like you don't accept her new form. Oh, oh dear. I don't feel that way at all. I think it's really cool that Autumn is part cat. She's so amazing and adaptable for just being totally okay with it, too. I just feel so bad that she can't use the onsen anymore. She gives me a big discount because I always used to let her soak for free, too. Besides, I miss hanging out with her in the hot springs. I think she'd appreciate hearing all that. Thanks, newcomer. I'll remember that. Anyway, here's the payment for Autumn. Can you bring it back to her? Come on, broom. There we go. I did the thing. Yep, I talked to Lumi too. How did that go? I think I might have gotten through to her. I still think the two of you should have a heart-to-heart -heart about things. And you need to renegotiate the discount you give her. She feels uncomfortable about it now. I told her it wasn't a big deal, but I guess I wasn't listening to her when she said it mattered to her. Thanks, Traveler. I'll take my potions up there next time myself. Thank you for your help. I don't know what she gave me. Okay, so is she done? Autumn. Okay, nope. But they won't do more than one a day. Alright, let's go visit Shin. And see if we can find... The cat guy. There's Safina, so that means she's up here. I get stuck on everything. I did the thing. You got the chairs. That's great. I can't wait to try them. Found a couple more chairs. Why stop at five? Why not keep going? Infinite chairs. Okay. Um, do you need anything else? Starting to panic. Okay, we got another one. My new pet ferret, Mr. Snuggles, has gone missing. He tends to run off and find places to hide and sleep, but he usually comes right back after his nap, but not today. So where did you see him last? Not that you mention it, I remember him playing around with Rosa at her house in the woods. You don't think that he got lost in the woods, do you? I'll go talk to Rosa. looking at the ledge up here now that I have access to it. Maybe there's an animal up here I'm missing. Does not appear to be so. Okay. I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to go up more this way. It's starting to get to be nightfall, too. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. Jin's ferret, Mr. Snuggles. Oh, Mr. Snuggles is missing. Jin thinks she saw him last around your house. Have you seen him? Not since Jin was here. Not that you mentioned it. I remember seeing Mr. Snuggles playing around with her hat. Her hat. He 
Yep, I'm betting he's probably under her hat, asleep on her head. You're kidding. It's a very sound sleeper. Just head back to Jin and I'm sure everything will be fine. Okay. Alright, it's almost nightfall. See if I actually have a quest for that, though. Find a black cat in the woods at night. Use any toy to play with it. Yep. I think the ghost dog was up here. I'm looking for unfamiliar. I remember it being on this side of the woods. Maybe I'm wrong. Nope, oh, there it is. Hi. Oh, look how cute you are. I think I'm doing it. There we go. Oh, yeah. Boop. Did that count? Yep. And you're coming home with me. Come on. did the thing. I totally felt a shift in the force energy the other night. Did you feel it too? Mm, you look unsure. It's okay. You'll actually get more tuned to it if you keep practicing. Let me know if you ever want to learn another ceremony. Oh, and take this. Got a toy. Need anything? Are you here because you want to learn some more witch's magic from me, really? Hey, I was actually just about to perform a ceremony to honor and protect the flying creatures of the woods. Cultivating a good relationship with the creatures of the air is very important for witches, especially if you intend to use a broomstick one day. The Owl Club girls help me out with this one sometimes, but they all seem quite busy today, so I didn't like to bother them. Would you like to help? Yes. I need one feather from each type of bird that live in these woods. Daisy, you know, the little mouse girl who lives near here, she's always collecting things of that sort and has never failed to have the feathers I need. If you could go pick up those ingredients from her, I can get everything else ready in the meantime. Alright. I think that's where we're going to end this episode. When we come back, we're going to keep um, plugging away at these townsfolk quests. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.